a challenging story of a young man. He proposed to get married to some individual, and the person said no. So uh, he said, well, that's what God told him. <laughs> I said, two of you, we have to agree. It's not that God told you. You must tell her to. So the individual now got married. The lady got married. So I met him. I said, what's going on? He said, God has not said something else. I said, do you want to kill your husband? <laughs> I think after that marriage, it should end. But it didn't end. <laughs> he said, God has not told you something else. The end story is not good. There's no point going there. Hello, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Perez Ganeyu. I have no doubt in me that this video you're about to watch is going to be a blessing. So please go ahead to like, share, Drop your comment and of course subscribe and also do not forget to turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when I drop any other video. Thank you so much. Please do enjoy the video. One mystery of the kingdom we need to be aware of is that Satan that could dare to speak to Jesus will speak to anybody else. I've heard him a number of times without knowing first that it was him speaking to me. Jesus came through for me and rescued me. Would not be here today if I were not open to his correction by thinking that he spoke to me when it was the stranger speaking. Grace to know the voice of the stranger that will not mislead my life. I'll receive it when I go ahead and pray. We're about hitting an explosive church growth era in Rajoba when the enemy came to me and said, it's time to go out. Pressure was so much. I was feeling refreshed about it. At a point, I saw my spirit slowing down. What's going on? Then 31st of December, God came through for me. The voice of the shepherd came and was so different. Cool, calm. As for thee also, thou shalt stand here by me. January 94, explosion. Eruption. Eruption. 95, eruption continued. 96, eruption continued. That thing came when we were 3,000. It kept erupting till 99 when we counted 50,000. Just one more step, sir. One more step. One more step. May you not shut down your business when you're just one step more to your breakthrough. <laughs> one more step. Somebody's breaking forth. We are permitted to have ways, but we commit it to him. So he can direct our paths. Don't fake it. Experience it. New birth is not a philosophy, not an ideology, it's an experience. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away, behold, all things have become new. The reason why you have a lot of, I mean, an increase in suicide rate today is that people just go anywhere they see. And they keep making stone bricks everywhere they turn. What is life worth? Because they will not allow him to lead them. They just inform him about where they are going. They don't ask whether it's his plan or not. Lord, just to let you know, I'm on my way to Ghana. He said, well done. What will he say? You ask him. If you don't commit your ways to him, you can't be committed to leading you. Because it has become a social emblem now. I'm born again. You're born again. Born again. Born again. We're all born again. Abby, what is? If there were a prophet among you appear to him in visions and dreams, but Moses is not like you, I speak to him face to face. Meekness qualifies us as his. But it's just next to the next level breakthrough in his life. May no devil mislead you. One who will not hear instruction, rebuke, and correction will not hear from God. Because essentially, God speaks 
to teach doctrines, principles of life, and it comes through to correct, to reprove, and to instruct. So anyone not prepared for correction is not a candidate for divine direction. Now, let me tell you some things that will baffle your mind. I haven't prayed and I haven't done some screening for pastors who will be sent to do 75 nations. We sent for them to come and their family. And the first night, as I stood up, he said, this is another people I'm going to use. <laughs> I was the one who sent for them because I thought I prayed and I got it right. <laughs> After the minute, I said, God told me that you will go back tomorrow. That was the end of the induction. If you can't be corrected, you cannot be directed. <laughs> they came from Abororo. They came from across Africa. Because we are going to send all the proven hands that we have to go to. He said, I'm not using them. Some came with babies because their wife just delivered not long before them. Plus the babies from the fathers and mothers, they went back. Because God said, that's not the way I'm going. It takes a lot of meekness not to pretend. I say, okay, let's just do the training now. Okay, training for what? Because they say, we won't use them. What are you wasting your mouth doing the training for? They went back. 40 years ago, we were commissioned to ministry. And then I went to say thank you to Jesus. He said, no, it was not me you had about going to Jesus, you had yourself. Hmm? He said, remember you are playing table tennis at in the entire area of Jaws <laughs> so, so years ago. That's what you had. Because you wish that time that if you had the choice where to live in the future, you know, he said, it's not me you had. After they are praying for us as we are going to Jaws now. And I came down from the mountain and said, God told me that. I got him wrong. At the beginning. So people thought I was confused. No, I was corrected. Praise God. I wasn't confused, I was corrected. If you had stepped out on that wrong path, we may not be here. Because we'll miss his bucket. And start swimming against the tide. It will always test your meekness for you to assess his guidance. How do I know when I'm born again or not? Look out for the fruit of the Spirit. For the, by their fruits, we shall know them. And the fruit of the Spirit is. Now, it's only one fruit. If you check that Galatians 5.22, one fruit. Fruit, like a, an orange ball. And what you have there is the bark, the sponge, the various things inside the orange. Is one fruit. Love, joy, peace. Isn't that refreshing, sir? That's the refreshing I'm talking about. Love. Anybody truly saved. That's what they call the joy of salvation. There's no truly born again child, sir, who would think suicide. Because you have to be depressed to go on that line. Ayo igbalan pa mi ogogo Ayo igbalan pa mi ogogo You don't see joy you don't see peace you don't see love check it Check it So it's not an ideology it's an experience Times of refreshing are the validations of salvation All world ban robots usually end up as giants in the kingdom. You hear from the Lord, from his word, you jump at it, you jump at it, you jump at it. You have men like Abraham, like Moses, like Peter, James, and John. They just jump at it. Thank right. you so much for staying to the end of the video. I believe you have been tremendously blessed. Please do not forget to like, share, 
drop a comment and of course please subscribe and also turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when i drop any other video my name is grace ganyu thank you so much for watching